Hey, Donovan here, and in this video today, I'm going to dive into the number one mistake you will make when you finally start getting results through Facebook ads for your martial arts school. I see so many martial arts school owners go to make this mistake, and I've stopped a lot of them from making this mistake. Now, if you are planning on running Facebook ads, or if you are running Facebook ads, you may run into this very issue at some point. So please watch this video so you avoid this problem. Let's get straight into it. Right, let's get into it. So this is the number one mistake that you will start making when you start seeing results from Facebook ads. So many martial arts school owners try Facebook ads, they do all these different things and they never get results. But then they come across videos like the ones that I'm putting out on my YouTube channel, completely free. Um, they start running them and they start seeing some results. But then a lot of those martial arts school learners make one crucial mistake, which means that they stop getting results. They literally stop getting results overnight. I want you to avoid making that mistake. Now, where does this video come from? I have people who are in our paid services who have came to me and said they are going to do X. And I say, do not do that. It will ruin your results. And I also had someone recently who used our free um, stuff and basically said that overnight he had six to seven new kids enter his kids class, as you can see. Um, and he basically said, if I slightly tweak the wording for the adult class, um, and I'm also looking to launch a ladies boxer size class, blah, blah, blah. This is the mistake a lot of martial arts school owners make when they start getting results. And if he actually went on to do what he was going to do, he would have stopped getting results pretty much immediately. And I'm going to dive into why. So let's get into it. So imagine this. You are stuck at a member number right now. I don't know what that number is, but there's a number in your head that you are stuck at right now. So 50 members, 60 members, 200 members, 400 members. There's a number right now that you are stuck at member-wise. You might have amazing retention, but for some reason, you're just stuck at that member number. You've got spaces in your ladies' class, you've got spaces in your adults' class, and you've also got spaces in your kids' classes. Or... You might even have spaces in multiple locations. So you've got like two or more locations that you want to get more members for, and you're just struggling to get members into those locations. Does that sound familiar? Cool. Well, if so, then this is you right now. And you're a little bit sad because you've got spaces in either your classes or you've got spaces in multiple locations. Now, this is where you want to be. You want to be in a position where you're no longer stressing. You're not stressing, all of your classes are full, and that's the exact position that you want to be in, don't we all? Awesome. Now, how are you gonna get there? The way to get there is you need to do something. That's pretty obvious. Now, all of the people who come to me and they say, I've got incredible results, the reason why they come to me and say they've got incredible results is because they actually did something. They either copied the Facebook ads that I share on YouTube, they invested in one of our services, or they tried it themselves and hoped for the best and it worked. Regardless, they've done something which is now solving their problem and they finally start feeling like this man up here and they start feeling a little bit happier, which is awesome. And that's the position that you'll be in. When you take action and you start running Facebook ads or you sign up with us and then start running Facebook ads that way, whatever you do, when you start running real legit ads that are going through to a system, you will start feeling happier, but it all could come crashing down if you make one crucial, crucial mistake. Um, so regardless, whatever happens, you must do something if you want to go from your position that you're in now to get to a happier position. We all know that. Awesome. So let's imagine that you actually take action. You go through my YouTube channel, you watch the free stuff, and you actually take action and just launch some Facebook ads, the same ads that you've been telling yourself for months that you're going to do, you finally do it. So you launch those Facebook ads and members finally start coming through the door for the class that you've targeted or the location that you've targeted. You've copied, copied my YouTube video. You're finally getting kids coming through. Like the, uh, the guy who messaged me where he said he's got six to seven kids yesterday who came through to his classes. You're finally in a position where you're starting to get members going through. And finally, you start feeling happier. You're feeling happier because your kids' classes are growing or your adult classes are growing or your ladies' classes are growing. Whichever class you targeted is now growing, which is awesome. And they're growing fast. How happy would you be? I'll give you five seconds. How happy would you be? If you launched a Facebook ad and you finally started getting kids coming through to your classes and that class started growing, how happy would you be? 
you'd be very happy, wouldn't you? Awesome. Now, this is where the problem starts for most martial arts school owners. You finally start getting kids coming through to your classes. You finally grow in how you want to be growing, and it all feels a little bit surreal. This is where the problem starts. I see so many martial arts school owners who finally start seeing success through Facebook ads or through Google ads or through whatever ads or whatever marketing method. They finally start seeing success and then they think, I had some success. I would make more money if I targeted all of my classes. So what they'll do is they'll say, instead of me just targeting my kids' classes, why don't I target my adults' classes and my ladies' classes? And I've got a boxer size class, and I've got a gym class, and I've got this class, and I've got that class. And what they do is they just go all of a sudden, they run into, I'm going to target all these different classes, and I'll get more members, and I'll make more money. That isn't how it works. That is not how it works. This is the complete wrong way to do it. When you feel like this, it's because you are actually getting a return on your investment. So you're targeting your kids' classes. You're getting loads of kids coming through the door. You are finally getting a return on your investment, which is pushing you closer to your goal. Unless that class or that location that you are targeting starts getting full, just do more targeting of that class. So what I mean by that is if you're spending £5 a day and you're getting results on the kids' classes, spend £10 a day. Spend £15 a day, spend £20 a day and do that until that class fills up and then shift your focus to another class or another location. This is where martial arts school owners go wrong. What they do is they get excited that that one class is starting to fill and then they start thinking, right, I'm going to run adults, I'm going to run ladies, I'm going to run this and you'll get confused. You genuinely will get confused or one of those demographics that you target will, won't perform as well as you want it to. So you'll turn off your other ones and try and focus your energy into trying to get that one to work. And what you're actually doing is you're getting a worse return on your investment because you're not just staying focused. Stay focused on whichever demographic is giving you results. If you launch a kids class ad and it starts smashing it, just spend more time, spend more money, pushing the kids' ads even further. And then if it stops working, then feel free to go on to another demographic. Or if your classes fill up, then feel free to go on to another demographic. Or if you don't want any more kids, kids in the classes, then go on to another demographic. But until you hit that point, just stay focused on getting the results in the way that it actually is giving you results. That's where the best return in investment is going to come from for you. A lot of martial arts school owners speak to me and they say, Donovan, if I added 30 more members to my classes, I could leave my job. And then they launch Facebook ads. They get seven new kids members through the door and they're already looking at where they can add other, other members. You've got space for 50 kids in your class. So just keep adding kids to the classes. And then when you're at a point where that's full, then look at the other locations or the other classes or the other things. Like don't get distracted. Just focus on the thing that's actually giving you results. And the same goes if you've got multiple locations. If you run some ads over here and they're going really, really well, like extremely well, then just focus on getting amazing results over here. You don't need to launch ads over here and eat into the budget that you could be absolutely smashing out over here. Well, that's just how I see things. I think when it rains, it pours, get the absolute best return and investment that you can get in one place. And then once that's full and you're in a position where you're not really fussed about having any more members over there, then look at the other location, then start targeting the other location. That's what I think is the best thing to do if you want to get the best results. Stay focused and just do more of what is already working. Thanks. Please share. <laughs> hey, thank you for watching this video. Now, I do want to say one thing. Like, you might have saw at the end there where I said, please share. Look, I actually mean that. My only ask, my goal is to help martial arts schools grow and make it easy for martial arts school owners to grow their classes. My only ask is if you can think of anyone or who do you know who is struggling to grow their classes right now? And if you can think of anyone who is struggling, just share this video with them, send it to them or share it to your feed or just anywhere where more martial arts school owners are going to benefit from this. I don't really speak about it, but I've done kickboxing since the age of five. Um, I've been doing kickboxing all my life. And I would say I would not be the person I am today if it wasn't for kickboxing. I know how important martial arts is to people's lives. So 
I know that what we do not only helps martial arts schools stay open, keep the lights on, grow, feed their families. Not only does it do all of that, but it also means that children and adults all around the world are coming across martial arts where they wouldn't have came across it if that martial arts school owner didn't know how to put their service in front of people. So I know that we're benefiting a lot of people by doing this. So that's why I make my free content. I want to make it easy for my to grow. Thank you for watching the video. That's everything. Please share it.